What's up guys? Today we're doing a fishing experiment. We're going to find out if bass will eat live tadpoles. Now I'm super excited for this challenge because whenever I was a kid, I actually went fishing with live tadpoles several times and I never caught anything. Tried fishing for catfish, couldn't catch any catfish. Tried fishing for bass, couldn't catch any bass. So I'm very interested to see the outcome of this challenge. But guess what? We're doing another shout out contest right now. Drop your shout out names below and the shout out winner from the last contest will be announced at the end of this video. But let's go over the gear that I have for this challenge real quick. I've got a net here to catch tadpoles with. Hopefully they won't fall through the holes. I've got something to put my tadpoles in. I've got some extra hooks. And I've got my rod and reel. Tsunami Shield TSSHD 3000 Carbon Shield 2 rod. And I've got 8 pound line on here. That should make this challenge a little bit interesting. And I've got a 2 aught owner hook. Small hook. So... We're not going out fishing with heavy line, heavy gear, light setup, make this challenge a little bit funner. Now that I've explained to you why I want to do this challenge, first thing we got to go do is get the tadpoles. Now this looks like an awesome pond for tadpoles, doesn't it? Looks like it'd be full of frogs, full of tadpoles. Looks like this is where we're going to catch them at, right? Wrong. No, we're not. There are a lot of frogs in here. And if you want to see me come down here and catch some bullfrogs, there's bullfrogs like this big, and fish with those live bullfrogs, drop a comment down below. But we're not going to be fishing in here. See all the broom, all the fish are ready to be fed. I come down here and feed these fish. These are my pets. I don't catch them. Sometimes I come down here and I catch them when I want to go fishing with them somewhere else. But let's get this show on the road and let's get this challenge started. Guys. <laughs> I've got my net and I've got my cooler. That's all we need to catch these tadpoles. So we're going to start out walking the sandbar right here. I seen some down here the other day that were hiding like right on the edge of the sandbar. So there's three brim beds right here, guys. There's one, two, three, and there's a brim on all of them. And I can see that brim. He's just sitting there chilling. That's a big old shell cracker. There's another one right there. Four. All right, let's go get these tadpoles. Went down here to catch the brim. Now, one reason I haven't really been doing a whole lot in the river lately, guys, you see how still the water is and stagnant. And there's no current flowing. And I just seen on the, on the news last night that they had a blue-green algae bloom in Madison County, which is only a few counties away from me. It's probably like 50 miles. Definitely pretty down here, guys. I don't know how safe the water is, though. I would definitely would not drink it. Do not drink the water. I'm kind of scared to go in the water. Probably going to have to get my feet wet catch these tadpoles though all right there they are well they were here yesterday there's one i want some big ones where the big tadpoles at oh there they are we hit the jackpot boys all right we got our tadpoles guys oh he's hopping away he's got legs he literally grew legs and tried to walk away on me. Oh, there's another one. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And he's small. We'll throw him back. I want the big, fat, juicy ones. All right, we got to put some water in here for the tadpoles. Forgot about that. All right, guys, so I know I said that we was doing this fishing experiment on bass, but I think I'm going to throw another variable in there. I'm going to see if gar will eat tadpoles. Because there's a nice little spot down here. There's always gar at. And I'm wondering if they're going to eat these tadpoles. So we are going to find out. See here, we are at the river. This is the gar hole here. There's always gar busting, jumping out the water, especially when it's hot like this. However, I don't see any right now. We're gonna give it a shot either way though. Oh, there went one right there. I just seen it. We're not gonna be down here long. I'm not thinking we are because it's like 110 degrees. It's even hotter on this pavement, super hot. But 
I've got a little bit heavier set up for this. This is a 15 pound mono. Still got my small little hook. And we're gonna take one of these tadpoles. Now, where should I hook this tadpole at? Where do you guys think I should hook it? In the back, maybe? Let's hook it right there. Yep, looks like a good spot. Dang, that was a big mud fish right there. There went one right there, guys. Right in front of my cork right there. So guys, it's been really, really hot lately. The fish haven't been biting very well. I mean, yesterday, we're in South Georgia, and yesterday we had a heat warning, a heat index warning. It was like 98 degrees, guys, but with a heat index, it was probably like, I don't know, 108. It was hot. Doesn't look like the tadpole's moving very much. I just seen a gar or a mudfish right under the water, right there. I don't know why, guys, but nothing likes tadpoles. It's like nothing wants to eat a tadpole. They're garbage. So far, it's not looking very good. I guarantee you guys, if I would've thrown a brim out, I would've already caught a gar or a mudfish by now. So this is making me think if the gar and the mudfish aren't gonna eat a tadpole, that a bass likely is not going to eat a tadpole either. I'm hoping they will, but it's not looking good. I can throw anything dead out here and a mudfish will eat it. Except for a tadpole, apparently, because I got a tad dead tadpole out and ain't nothing touching it. All right, guys, so now we are at the pond. And we're going to find out if bass will eat tadpoles. Get me a big old fat juicy tadpole out of here. And we'll hook him right in the tail right there. Just like that. They're coming up and they're curious. They're checking him out. Nothing's eating him. They don't want him. Oh, something grabbed him. Got him. Oh, it's a big bat. Oh, he come off. Dang, that was a big one, guys. Well, bass eat tadpoles. Bass eat tadpoles. Now let's see if we can actually catch a bass. That was awesome, guys. I just dropped it down. That bass come up and got it. Let's see if he'll take it again. That tadpole's hauling butt. Oh, he grabbed him. He grabbed him. Got the hook in him. Time to drag up on this sucker right here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. That's a good one right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, baby. We got one with a tadpole. God, that's a giant. Come on up here, bass. Well, guys, bass eat tadpole. Would you look at that? That's a tank right there. All right, let's weigh this bass. Let's see how much it weighs since I brought the scale with me. He weighs six pounds and 13 ounces. Six pounds, 13 ounces. All right, let's let the big old bass go. Look at that hog right there. She's off. See if we can do that again, boys. I'm gonna throw it out further this time. We'll see if we can get old big old Bertha out there. Oh, something grabbed it. Got a hook in it. What is this? Please don't be a troll. Oh, well, nope, it's another bass. It's another bass. It's another bass. Come on, bass. They like tadpoles, boys. They like tadpoles. Bass love tadpoles. All right. Bass number two with the tadpole. We should have just come here first. All right, let's throw it back. This one isn't as big as the last one. See that tree over there? Should be a big one hanging out by that tree. Get my tadpole over there. See if old bass will come get him. Oh, something grabbed it already. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Another small one. They're loving the tadpoles, though. They are loving the tadpoles. I want a big one. You don't count, buddy. We'll throw you back. Oh, 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 he grabbed it. Hold on. Hold on, I got one. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Bass number three or four. I lost count. 
This is a small one. Alright, throwing it back. Alright guys, the purpose of this experiment was to see if bass will eat tadpoles, and it turns out they do. They, they eat them pretty good. He caught a pretty big bass with it. Here's a shout out winner. Make sure you guys follow him. Please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again next time.